Justine Cassett was back in the country of Panama working as a professional model. Though she wasn't crowned Miss Universe on the night of the pageant, she was honored to represent Panama as first runner-up. But when the reigning Miss Universe was asked to step down, Justine became the first runner-up in the organization's 51-year history to assume the crown. From that moment on, Justine was thrust into the global spotlight, spending time at autograph sessions, photo shoots, and TV appearances. As a new Miss Universe, Justine traveled around the world using her visibility to promote the fight against AIDS, opening up the first ever HIV testing center and clinic in Panama, volunteering at soup kitchens and meeting U.S. troops overseas in Cuba, Kuwait, and Saudi Arabia. She experienced a journey way beyond her expectations, fulfilling her personal and professional ambitions. It's been a year she'll never, ever forget. Bienvenida, Justine, back home to Panama City. Universe 2002. I mean, you were perfectly happy with first runner-up, I'm sure. I was very happy, and it was the most shocking moment of my life, because usually the girls find out they're going to be Miss Universe on stage, and I did on the back of a limo, so I was speechless for hours, but very happy. Justine, when you look out here, you see these people. The energy that is in this room is unbelievable, and it's all for you. How does it make you feel, and what do you want to say to them? Well, I have been getting constant goosebumps all night, and it just has been so wonderful. All my people here in Panama have given me more love than I could have ever dreamed of, and, and it's just amazing to hear the cheer and the energy of Panama here tonight. It's the best. I have a feeling for you the best is yet to come. <laughs> Thank you. Now.